So I've been thinking about the thematic connections in the Bible. When the IDF and, you know, Netanyahu basically used the excuse of the rabbis of the Amalek verses in the Bible to justify the killing of babies and kids and innocent civilians in Gaza, I had to face up to this idea that it's horrifying that those verses are in the Bible. And so I definitely feel like the Bible's been messed with. And the thing of it is, is when I look at the thematic connections, Moses was a child that was spared being killed due to like a com campaign to get rid of a certain people, you know, and when Yeshua was a child, there was another campaign to get rid of a certain demographic and now a campaign to get rid of the Gazans and it's, you know, part of that campaign is obviously children because they're like using the justification, oh, well, they're going to grow up to be terrorists. I feel like this idea that children can ever be thought of as a problem is evil. And I feel like if you look at the thematic connections, the Bible really is teaching against that doesn't matter if there's words in the Bible that say one thing because wrong is wrong and wicked enemies can go in and change scripture. Why would there be something in the Bible that, you know, talks about how bad it is to add scripture and if it couldn't be done? And why would Yeshua warn about as the people slept, the enemy sowed its seed? Sounds like it got sowed in the Bible just feel like it's really dawning on me. I still read the Bible and I still believe there's words of God in the Bible, but I realize dangerous it is to say, well, this verse says this because people can take a verse that may have been added by bad guys, and which I totally believe was, to justify killing children.